Uh, Dave with Tesla Tech again. Um, I'm going to reveal the secrets of Tesla Tech and why I call it Tesla Tech. I'll address that in, a, in another video. But right now, um, I just want to explain the gain and that I don't care what length of wire you use for a coil, there are two frequencies that are going to get you more gain. There's only two for any length. Whatever that length of wire is, there's only two frequencies that's going to get you this kind of gain. The first one is the quarter wavelength. This is what would be used with an open end. That's why I have this um, on a loose end. Okay, I've got this calibration line set at 100, let's call it watts. I've got the drive power set at 0.25 watts. Calibration is set at 1 watt. The drive is at 0.25 watts. Okay, and we're going to watch what happens here now in one cycle. Okay. Right there. That is one cycle. One cycle at 0.25 watts, and we've got one watt stored in this standing wave. Okay, that's tripling your power stored in the standing wave at a quarter wavelength. That's a loose end that would be transmitted through the earth. That's a, that's an that's an open end. It's like a um, like you have no terminator on the end of the wire. Okay, it's a, it's an open connection. It reflects. Um, so we'll watch that one more time. One cycle. One cycle, and our power level is at one, and we're driving it with point. Two five. Okay, now this one, we've got the power level set at 0.5. Calibration line again is set at one, 1 1.0 watts. We're going to call this watts. The driving power is 0.5 watts, 0 0.5 watts. This is a half a wavelength. What got me started on this was Tesla's um, bifiler pancake coil where he has the center tap in the middle of the coil. Dead center, the anti-node. <laughs> okay, but we're gonna again we're gonna we're gonna watch what happens on this, okay? Going around. I got this one on slow. <clears throat> okay, one cycle of the drive at 0.5 watts, and we're at one watt on the standing wave. That's doubling the power. This is a half wavelength. This point right here, this green dot, is where the center tap on the bifiler pancake coil is. Now, I don't think that's... He just came up with that by accident. To me, I seen that he was going to drive the coil with a half a wave length of the frequency of the length of the wire would put the anti-node dead center at that center tap. Okay? So we've doubled our power. Uh, you're going to have... You're going to have enough to take back, to continue driving this, and have um, another 100% of that power to use. Okay? You're doubling your power. Store it on the standing wave. Alright? Now, this one, I have the calibration again at, at 1.0 watt. We're driving it at 0 0.5 watts, and um, 
No, well, let's, let's let's watch what happens. Okay. Uh boy. One cycle and we're just to the end. We just reached the end. We're just now going to get a reflection. So let it go again. Oh, ooh, I I missed it. Okay, let me start that over. <laughs> It's going to take two cycles. I messed up. There's one, and it's just now reflecting. Okay. Here's two. And we've just reached one watt. So it took us a total of watt to get to one watt. Our gain just dropped off to nothing. Okay, we went from a 6 dB gain on a quarter wave tripling the power to 3 dB gain on the half a wave doubling the power to we're only storing the power we there could be a perpetual motion machine but you're never gonna get anything extra out to drive anything uh, you know it'll be a pretty perpetual motion machine oh look it'll just go and go but you, it's not gonna it's not gonna run anything else for you okay that's one wavelength um let's see all right this one is two wavelengths okay so again it's set up one 1 1.0 is the calibration line we're driving it with 0 0.5 watts okay let's see what happens let's see one oh Two, two, and we just reached the end of the line. We haven't even had. It's going to reflect now. Okay, so let's keep going and see what happens. Oh, three, and part of the wave reached one watt. And four. This is four cycles. It took four cycles on the drive to reach. The all of the standing wave to reach one watt. That's the same as one wavelength. There's no gain. It's a fancy perpetual motion machine with no extra drive left over. Okay, um, and you can go on. Add is this is this is called. This is the fundamental right here. This right here is the first harmonic is one full wavelength the second harmonic is one and a half wavelengths the third harmonic is two wavelengths it takes you four cycles to get to a power level of one watt you, you you're you're storing what you're what you're putting into it with each cycle and this will continue to grow it'll, it'll store it but you don't have any gain. You don't have anything extra to drive anything. It's a fancy perpetual motion machine. Nothing else. All right, let's see if we can go back to this other one here. Now, um, uh, maybe the half wavelength one, okay. Now, the secret, okay? This is gonna be the secret to Tesla Tech. This is the true secret. Tesla Tech secret revealed okay let's pretend that what's shooting out of here is water okay we're at a half a wavelength right here and when it hits down here it's water what's it gonna do it's gonna bounce back right but let's say we got a balloon over this tube here so that it it, it can't go anywhere it's gonna stay right in there so when the water hits the end at a half a wavelength, it's going to bounce back, okay, and it's it's not going to be able to go anywhere there. It's going to come back, okay. It is going to triple the power level because we have restrained the distance between the reflections. We've restrained the 
we've re well, that's a tongue twister. <laughs> we've restrained the distance that it can travel to one half wavelength. So it's going to take what one cycle to double the power because it's state that water is hitting the end and it's coming back. Boom! We've doubled the power, right? <laughs> Let's watch. Okay. There's one. There's one cycle. Now what happened? That water came down here and it hit the end and it splashed back, but because it's in a balloon, it filled this balloon back up. Okay, and because we're at half a cycle, this thing got down here and came back and filled that balloon up to one watt from one cycle that's the trick okay you're not you're not really it's not magic okay you're not pulling anything out of thin air you've just restricted the distance between the reflections you we're playing a trick on it but we're rising that voltage up now this could be used uh, the most efficient <laughs> um, energy generation and storage there is is a standing wave it really has no losses you're storing everything you're not using in that standing wave um, we've just tricked it by restricting it and made that voltage go up faster okay this could be used to um, to charge capacitors super fast you run whatever you want on those capacitor this thing's going to keep it charged up um, you know it's only going to it's going to put 100% of the power you, you put in it to use but it's also got 100% an extra 100% stored that you can continue to run it on if you want so it's a 100% over unity okay the quarter wave is 200% uh, over unity you triple the the drive level that you're putting in we were putting in 0.25 and in one cycle we got one watt so that just means that we restricted the distance between that reflection and it's that's water going down that line that that's in a balloon it hits and it comes back and it reflects twice in that in that one cycle because we've restricted it so that's that's what I had to say. I hope this uh, is making a little more sense for some people. Let's let's go back to the quarter wave, okay? One more time. Um, the calibration line is set at 100, or at one. I'm sorry, at point one point zero watts. Why am I calling it watts? Because that's what we called it um, at Hughes, okay? Um, I worked in satellite communications on TWTs. Everything was measured in watts, and we used dB for scale. dBm is a reference to um, a power level at one milliwatt. In every three dB, you double the the power. So you know if something is at, at oh, I don't know what the, what the what the numbers are right now. Um, zero dBm is one milliwatt um, so three dBm would be two milliwatts uh, six dBm would be four milliwatts um, every three dB you double the power um, so here we have driving it with 0 0.5 Calibration is at 1.0, and in one cycle, right there, we have 100 watts. And that's only because we restricted the distance that that can travel to a quarter of a wavelength. Does that make any sense? <laughs> 
and because uh, you know nobody seems to be getting this I don't know why let me go back to this other one here where was it <clears throat> this one okay that's at 1.0 this is at 0.5 this is two wavelengths what is it they say it was the third harmonic I guess um, we're gonna play it okay there's one Okay, there's two. Two cycles, we just now hit the end. Okay, three cycles, we only have half of the standing wave up to 1.0 watt, watts. It's going to take four cycles for it all to reach one watt. We have zip on gain. Gain is out the door, the same as it was with the one wavelength. Um, let's this, around here. this one, we had zip for gain. Um, we're driving it with 0.5, and it took two cycles to reach the calibration line. Because there's one and it's just now hitting the reflection one more cycle and that water splashes back and fills that tube up you're you're right there um, two cycles we've reached one so it's a it's a one-to-one -one. You, your gain is gone the only place you have the added gain is at a half a wavelength and at a quarter of a wavelength. Um, I hope that um, cleared some things up. I've been having people question this and people not get it, but it's as simple as that. And that is Tesla Tech Revealed. And I'll be explaining why I call it Tesla Tech in another video. See y'all later.